um, printing a lot of holographic stuff. I'm trying to break down the hologram wall that exists in the universe. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I just won my One Piece Super pre release tournament. Yo, -ho -ho Well, I won the North Blue. I didn't win this, I didn't win the All Blue. They were, we were split into two pods of eight North Blue and South Blue at Greg's Games. I played in the North Blue pod and I managed to win, but I lost to the brother of the first person I played in the North Blue who was coming from the South Blue to avenge his brother. The whole tournament was all about vengeance. The entire time was just Captain Kid, Captain Kid, Eustace, Captain Kiddo, vengeance. See, this is, I didn't actually have my Eustace, Captain Kid to play, but that's Eustace, Captain Kiddo. He's a really good pick because swinging is always good and he can always swing twice if he needs to. So the way this tournament went down was the first person I played was my homie Dennis's brother and I managed to beat him. It was blue, he was playing blue. It was a rough matchup. I barely, barely got it. I saw my card that rested a card off of Bonnie. I was super lucky to see that and that got me the game. So I managed to get that one. And then I played my buddy Edison who had just played my girlfriend, Linda. So I needed to avenge Linda's loss against Edison, which I did. Edison, it was a great game, but you know, I managed to get my vengeance for Linda. And then in the third round, I played my buddy Alejandro, who I just met, who I've been messaging with, and I didn't realize that he's such a cool, sweet guy in person. He wears his jacket like a captain's jacket, and we jammed it out. I managed to get the game off him, but he beat my mom in the first round, so I managed to avenge my mother in round three. And then Dennis avenged his brother against me in the captain's match after we played our tournaments. But I managed to get my hands on this super pre-release, super winner, super One Piece card. I am so hyped to have this thing. No, I'm not selling it before you ask. This is going in my personal collection forever because I have a tri pirate treasure box with everything. But if you guys haven't seen the promo in here, that's also really, really cool. And to Alejandro, who I beat in the last round, I gave him one of my custom Luffy leaders. It looks kind of like this it's a luffy this is a this is a kid though but i gave it to him i brought a little extra prizing for somebody that won and it was so much fun we all had a blast we had great food we had a bunch of laughs and it was a really 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 good time so i didn't realize that there are more people that go to greg's games that are in the area i met this other homeboy pedro pedro yes we met he was an awesome dude as well and uh, we got to hang out, we didn't get to play, but I think a lot of people are gonna be getting One Piece cards from Greg's game. So if you're in New Jersey and you wanna have a Shrippum party, I'm thinking about having a Shrippum party at Greg's when One Piece comes out. So leave me a little message in the comments or hit me up if you think this will be a fun idea. I have a feeling Greg will be all right with it. I'll have to talk to him about it, but a pirate Shrippum party at Greg's game sounds pretty cool to me. I don't know if that sounds cool to you, but it sounds pretty cool to me. Anyway, I am a dentist. I can't have about doing a dental tooth tip, your teeth, are crystals, they have crystals in them. They're called hydroxyapatite. That means your teeth are treasure and you communicate all of your emotions with them. Luffy loves his teeth and they don't drink, grow back when you drink milk. So take care of them because they're valuable and they are very expensive to fix. So just take care of them now. Thank you so much. And I wanna show you guys this other little project that I've been working on on the side as I've been printing stuff. I've also been making um, some uh, holographic canvases. I figured out how to make holographic canvases. This is a Luffy I'm working on. This is a holographic Luffy canvas, art by Spirit Bomb, and the background is uh, by Katsushika Hokusai, Red Fuji, a, class, a true classic of Japanese woodblock printing. So this is one canvas that I made, and here's another canvas that I made. This is actually a diptych that I'm working on. Diptych means two images. So this is the first of the two images. This is Yamato Go Dong Bong. This is kind of hard to see, but it's very shiny and holographic. This is this crazy vinyl that I bought in LA 10 years ago. This stuff was like 150 bucks a yard. It's super, super high quality HD holographic vinyl. There's the Yamato part one, and this is the Yamato part two. So they're kind of looking at each other, or Odin, I guess. But yeah, this one has, they have opposite reverse holograms in them. So these will go next to each other in my home display for my cool, shiny one piece stuff to look at that I love to look at this stuff so much. And then the last one I have here, I think is really gonna be the fan favorite. Um, this is Ace, Ace and Luffy. Uh, Luffy's in the background, it's kind of hard to see, but if you hold it the right angle, you can see Luffy saying, I'm your little brother screaming there in the sunset. So this is one that I made. I'm working on a bunch of techniques. I've started printing a lot of stuff 
um, printing a lot of holographic stuff. I'm trying to break down the hologram wall that exists in the universe. I wanna break through to the other side and share a bunch of cool holographic stuff with you guys. So if you wanna see more of these things, Follow me on my uh, Instagram channel. I have an Instagram channel, Instagram page, Joku DMD. If you search Joku DMD, you find a bunch of stuff. Follow me, watch my story, turn on story notifications because that's how you see what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, whenever I'm making this art. I'm usually posting stories. And um, yeah, I don't exactly know what to do with this. Maybe there's going to be some big pirate, uh, some big pirate thing that happens with some pirate prizing that may give you the coordinates for one of these pirate treasures that exist out there in the world who knows what can happen you know the world's a wild place thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video i loved playing in the super pre-release it was so much fun hanging out with all my friends eating good food jamming games and getting this shiny luffy winner to my collection thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time